Vern, is it a little bit more comfortable when you can run through these drills on your own turf and in your own environment? That do you feel like it, it it makes it easier to succeed? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think what what makes it the best is uh, you have the boys right next to you, the guys that you played with three, four years. So I think that that's what makes it easier, and it's like another practice, really. I had a chance to talk to Coach earlier today, and he, he kind of went on and on about your preparation. How much of it, it have you grown over the last couple of seasons in terms of film study and, and watching receivers? Because that's arguably the biggest part of being a defensive back in the NFL. Uh, tremendously. You know, that's every, every year I've gotten better preparing myself on the field and off the field. And, uh, you know, it's something that you got to keep working on. You know, it takes, it takes years to, to, to master that, to, to master staying focused and to master, you know, doing all the right things even when you don't want to do them. So that, that's, that's, what it, that's where I'm at right now. What do you tell coaches? Because obviously being a kid that's a, that's a son of a coach, things that go hand in hand with that are usually football IQ and instincts. Mm-hmm. How do you display that to coaches, that those are two things that you have and two really good qualities in you? You know, I'm not really too big of a talker, mm-hmm. uh, especially not in the facility, not talking back to coaches or, or any adult figure. But my biggest thing is doing it on the field. Just put me on the field and, I, and I'm going to show you what I can do. Do you consider yourself, and, and people are telling you, top 10 pick? Oh, of course, without a doubt. That's all, that's all I see myself as. That's, that's the goal, and that's what I'm shooting for.